Hi guys and welcome to, well, I guess we'll just number these tutorials and call it tutorial number two. Um, in the first tutorial, I explained a bit about the viewports, uh, very briefly, with some of the hotkeys. Uh, I'll go over that really quick, and we'll move on to just basically creating objects. So, uh, well, let's get started. So, in 3D Studio Max, we have these four viewports here uh, by default. Now, we can change the layout of these uh, later on, but for right now, these work just fine for us. So in these viewports, uh, as I was explaining in the last tutorial, we have two hotkeys that I will just introduce right now that are pretty important because I like them a lot. So this is the G key, which means grid, to turn the grid on and off, and this can be used in any viewport. You'll notice that as I just hover my mouse over another viewport and hit a hotkey, it will actually make that the active viewport. Um, that's just something 3D Studio Max has to offer, so it's just you don't have to click every time and go through the scenes, you can actually just you know, go through and easily manipulate each viewport. So that's the G key for grid, and then the Z key will zoom in on the uh, entire scene, or whatever you have selected. So if you have nothing selected in your scene, it will just go to a generic point of where it thinks all the objects are located and zoom in. If there's nothing in your scene, it just snaps to 0, 0, 0. And if you have an object selected, it snaps to that object. Uh, a little bit more about viewports. If you look in the top left corner, you'll see the plus sign here. Now this gives you a little bit of options for the viewport to maximize it and minimize it. You can disable it, make it active, uh, show the grid, so all our hotkeys are here that we can uh, you know, turn on and off the grid and everything else with. Uh, change the view cube, which is the cube you see in the top right corner here, which if you don't use, you can actually just hide completely. And uh, you can create previews, uh, even a preview animation right here with a shortcut, Shift V. And you can configure the viewports to any uh, configuration you want. Uh, so you can change, change the layouts here, you can change the visual style and appearances. So if you have problems with your viewport for any reason, uh, check out the display performances, uh, you know, check out some of the different settings here, and you know, the background, the visual styles, and just change them until your viewport works a little bit more correctly. So that's the basic viewport settings. In the second one, we can see that we have the different cameras, which I explained more in the first one. Um, if you're changed, if you want to change your camera, you can simply hit a shortcut key. Um, or you can um, just click here and just click on one of these cameras and it will change to that. <clears throat> um, also the third option, which will come in handy a little bit later, is the viewport render settings. Now this is how the viewport is looking at your 3D models that we're going to create. So first we're going to create a model. So the first menu we want to go into it, on the right hand side, uh, we can see our panels. And the first panel is the create panel. Now this is going to allow you access to create you know, uh, right here, geometry, shapes, lights, cameras, everything you want to create in 3 Studio Max can be used, like, can be accessed here. So right now we're in standard primitives, which you can click on here and actually access, access more later on. But we're just going to work with a basic box. So if you click on box, if the um, icon, or the thumbnail, sorry, is uh, highlighted in blue, that means that's the currently selected mode you're in. So right now I'm kind of in a box creation mode. I can either start adjusting the box by playing with the arrows here, or I can left click and drag in my scene. So hold the left click button and drag your mouse and it'll create the base of the box. Now if you let go of left click, it will actually stop creating the box is uh, basic length and width and then it's going to switch to height mode. So if I let go right now, and then I drag the mouse again, now it's creating the height. And if I left click one more time, it seals the height, it has sealed the length and width, and if I right click, I get out of box mode, and I created my first box in 3D Studio Max. Now as you can see, we created a simple box here. But if we go to, uh, and this is how we're looking at it, which is through a realistic lens. So if we click on realistic in the top left of the viewport, we can change that to shaded, consistent colors, and then add edged faces. Edged faces can also be accessed by pushing F4 on the keyboard. That's the new hotkey for you guys. F4 is to turn on and off edge faces. Now the reason why you'd want to see edge faces is that sometimes you start manipulating these edges later on when we want to change our object. So I can turn it on and off via here or click F4 on the keyboard every time. If I change it from realistic to shaded, there's no lights in my scene right now so you won't see a big change there. And I'm just going to make this maximize this viewport so this is the plain view you guys see. There you go, it makes it a little bit easier. 
And uh, so basically, uh, shaded, consistent colors, which just makes it one solid color, or just goes by any solid color it tries to pick out. And there's also different modes like facets, which makes, uh, there's no smooth objects in the scene, it'll make everything flat, uh, flattened out. There's hidden lines, a uh, wireframe, which is always good to look at as well. Uh, bounding box, which it's a box, so it looks like a bounding box, unfortunately. And there's a clay shader, <clears throat> which tries to simulate what like ZBrush kind of looks like, so it gives you that cool clay shape. Uh, there's some more you can play around with, of course, uh, by going to stylized and changing the lighting and shadows and material settings. But we'll worry, worry about that a little bit later. I just want you guys to know the basics of working in a viewport and how to change the viewport to match what you want. Uh, changing down, changing views by you know clicking left, right, top, bottom, perspective using the middle mouse button and alt middle mouse button to rotate and the scroll wheel to zoom in and out and creating objects simply by left clicking on these seeing that they're active so right now I'm on sphere mode and it's blue right now so that means it's currently the active shape creation and I left click and drag and since the sphere mode only has basically one setting which is radius um, it doesn't have multiple settings like a box you can just left click and drag and create a sphere you can see that we're still currently on sphere mode so if I left click and drag again it actually creates more spheres and you can go around creating as many as you want and then once you're uh, done creating as, uh, how many objects you want in sphere mode you can simply right click and you're out of creation mode so that's simply creating this uh, that's creating simple objects working around the viewport minimizing and maximizing changing the cameras uh, changing the shading type that it's showing in the viewport and uh, next up I'm gonna explain a little bit about um, you know I wonder what should be next uh, creating objects and modifying them that'll be next thanks guys talk to you soon